and uh, the Guts fought this guy named Zod in one of his missions, and he saw Griffith, because Griffith came to help him out. He's like, holy crap, the bailiff, roar! And, you know, he says to Guts, once Griffith's kingdom falls down, you will be fucked up. That's basically what he said. Well, anyway, we get to a big point in the story where Guts, being the mindless soldier without a purpose, starts to think, wait a second, what am I doing here? What do I want to do with myself? So he decides to leave Griffith's mer mercenary band. And he, and you know, he had become friends with everyone, even Corcus, the guy who didn't like him, who was another character. And uh, he, he decides to leave, and everyone's there, and he's like, hey, you want to leave? Okay, that's fine. Take care of Guts. I hope we get to work together again or something like that. Well, Griffith is like, no, you're not leaving. In order to beat me, in order to leave, you have to fight me in a duel and beat me. You are my property. That's literally what he says. You are my property. Basically, what happened in the beginning, Guts and Griffith had a duel, and uh, if Griffin won, he could do whatever he wanted to Guts, and he decided, you know, okay, you're going to join my army. And, you know, he did. Well, now there's another duel. And, of course, obviously with the first duel, Griffith won that one. But then there's this one. They fight, and you can tell Griffith is pissed. Just looking at his eyes, he, he's doing the whole Hawkeyes thing. This is a fight to the death. Okay, so... They fight, and you know, but it's really a short fight. And one of the things that I love about this scene is, uh, sorry, you know, my throat's feeling kind of bubbly right now. Um, Guts swings his sword down, and, you know. Griffith, you know, decides to you know do a little block thing. Well, Guts cuts Griffith's sword in half and breaks it, and he almost kills Griffith, or he could have. But you know, he stops because you know. He respects Griffith. He doesn't want to kill him. And he walks off and says, you know, take care of Griffith or something like that. Well, Griffith is like shaken up. You know, he's like, holy fuck, this guy is not only equal to me, he surpassed that. He's above me. And that probably shook Griffith. I was like, crap, that's a big deal. And that really, you know, upsets him. I can't exactly under ex understand or even explain why he felt so shaken up besides the fact that he probably now sees Guts as his equal. Because I think he ultimately wanted to be stronger than Guts. He wants to be on top of the world. That's his big That's his big thing. And of course, you know, in order to calm himself down, he goes, sleeps with the princess. Yeah, they have sex. He gets up. And he gets caught. This is the part where the whole kingdom falling down thing. He gets caught. He gets sent to jail. They friggin' torture him. And another character named Casca, who's a female, I don't remember if I mentioned her, she becomes the new leader of the band of the Hawks. They get, you know, exiled, and they're trying to get a kill assassinated because he's a, they're associated with Griffith. And, of course, Griffith, he, he you know, tries to help out with them by helping them rescue Griffith. They go there, they f rescue Griffith, but Griffith is friggin' destroyed. Before then, they had a little monologue. I wasn't really, I couldn't really pay attention, I don't think. I don't remember what the circumstances were. I might have to go back and listen to what exactly he says. But ultimately, you know, they he, Gut sees what happens. You know, he's all he's all beat up. He's all wrinkly. He's all weak and tired. He's all scarred up. He, they cut his tongue out. But then he opens up his mask because Griffith, for whatever reason, has his mask on, his hawk mask. They and he looks inside there, and he's just he, he this entire rage, like you know, just he just erupts with rage because. What happened was they disfigured Griffith's face. They tortured him to the point where, you know, he would friggin', you know, just die. Where, like, he would just be left for dead. And that pissed him off. He just went on a rampage and went killing all the guys. Like, oh my fucking god! <sighs> and, of course, you know, Griffith's, you know, just, you know, he's like, I don't know, I guess in shock. To any normal person, though, that, well, that one, any normal person would think, okay. If this guy is getting so pissed at the way I've become, and he's fighting all these enemies, he's like ultimately defending, he's fighting for me. This guy's a true friggin' friend. It's a shame that, real, that Griffith really didn't see that. That's sort of something that I wish he did see. Because then, you know, all this stuff wouldn't have happened in the story. Of course, that would have made the story probably worse, but, you know. Anywho. And then, you know, they rescue Griffith. Uh, they're camping outside, you know, figuring out, okay, what are we going to do next, or where are we going to go? And, of course, you know, of course, Griffith has, you know, his bad luck. They're friggin' 
carriage cabin thing, you know, runs off. And, you know, he's like, oh, no. And, of course, it breaks up and he's, you know, laying in a pool. And he's, and he's really weak and tired. And he, he's just miserable. He's just so miserable. Like, Ugh, this is so terrible. I am, like, living miserable. So he actually decides to commit suicide. He actually takes, like, puts his neck on, like, one of a, the sharp points. But he's so weak and tired that he can't even stand up straight or let alone hold a position. And so he actually ends up cutting his neck or scraping it, which draws blood. And then, you know, he looks at the blade and he's like, wait a second. Because when he got the bailet, the person who gave it to him said, it will be activated with your flesh and blood, it's when your flesh and blood is sacrificed. So if he's okay, I've just started this whole thing. He didn't do that on purpose, I don't think. Any, I think a lot of sources will tell you that he did. I don't think he did, because of the way he looks. It's like, what? Wait, what? And he's like, what the heck is going on? And, you know, another reason this going back to the whole I love Guts thing, by the way, this isn't a yaoi. Um, it's like, you know, Gus is coming over to him. He's like, Griffith, are you okay? Genki to ska! You know, that kind of stuff. And Griffith, in his mind, is saying, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't come near me. It's almost like he's trying to prevent Guts from being, uh, being involved with this. That's sort of going back to the whole love thing. And then, you know, the whole, he, t he puts his hand on Griffith's shoulder, and, like, everyone who's in the area, including Casca, everyone, Judo, Corcus, the cool, big, strong guy who is, like, super powerful or whatever, they get involved. They all get killed, except for Griffith, Casca, and Guts. And then, another thing that I think shows that Griffith really does think of Guts as a friend, this is a tiny thing, but... This little hand pillar thing is rising up, which Griffith is in t on top of, and Guts is, like, about to, like, fall. Or something. Well, Griffith looks back, and he puts his hand out, as if he's trying to, like, grab Guts. Like, here, grab my hand, I'm trying to save you, that kind of thing. That's that's sort of little, but that shows that he at least cares enough about Guts to at least try to save him. But, uh, you know. And then some stuff goes on, he gets, like, this flashbang, he's like, hey, uh, like, this little weird little video thing about his life, it's like, Hey, can I join your army? No, you're dead. And there are a few things that happen. I'm not going to go into major details about that kind of stuff. I don't even think I understand it enough. But basically, he decides, okay, I submit. Because the Bela thing was actually sort of a... Uh, was like sort of a key to this thing called the Hand of God, which is like this evil, sort of corrupted, devilish group of super people who are all powerful and whatnot. And of course, he does this... I think he does this... I don't exactly know why he does this. I think he does this because he knows he's going to become stronger than Guts, maybe. I don't know. Well, anyway, they're trying to defend himself. You know, Casca is about to get, like, you know, raped or something. Guts is, you know, fighting all the monsters without a sword, using, like, a horn from a monster, stabbing.